Hello everybody, welcome back to Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer, this is the Kingdom of Dale campaign and my name is Saf. So, we've finally taken Rubar and we are currently progressing with Captain Hargast over here. We're going to bring him across to uh, one of these places over here just to help reinforce the region. Maybe use the army to head south towards uh, Elgaia, which is right here. We do at some point need to come across and help Dorwinian though because Rune has pushed them back quite a bit now. Unfortunately, they've lost the little fortress of Karas Falathrim, so we need to kind of reinforce that if we can. Maybe maybe take that for ourselves, who knows. Um, but also, one main target I would love to go for is the Isle of Nebur, which is here. Uh, so that is also another target. Now, how I'm going to do that, I'm not too sure. I might recruit some, some troops here. But one thought I have had uh, in the last episode was to bring this fleet across and pick up this army and bring that across to attack this place. I believe I have a spy somewhere. Oh yeah, there. I was going to pick him up, drop him, excuse me, drop him off, and then if it's a good place to go, then we'll take some troops across with us. <coughs> okay, so, readjusting my microphone here. Right then, not really anything to be done for this turn flip now, so let's go into number 44, and we'll go from there. So, so far in this campaign, everything seems to be going pretty well. We haven't lost anything yet. Oh, we might be about to lose a fleet. <laughs> about to lose a fleet. 51 ships. I can't withdraw. Clear defeat. And my fleet got destroyed. Well, that's a problem. Can I rebuild a ship at Rubar, maybe? Right, we're going to have to try and come up with something here. Where is my other ship? Leave me be. Do I have another ship somewhere? Where is my other ship? Ships. Ah, there he is. Why was I bringing you up here? Oh, the uh, Doggle Door was moving some ships around on the border, weren't they? Ships ready. Err, that was what was going on. Um, hmm. Well, seeing as we're here, might as well... I'm going to drop some troops off there so I can still get quite a good few movement points out of the, sh out of the fleets. Out of the fleet, sorry. Karandras is under attack. Construction options. Winterion has built a practice range. So I can retrain my longbows. Can't get any ships at Winterion, even though we've got a port. But Rubar... We can if we have a thousand. So I'm going to save my money this turn so that I can get that in the next one. Meantime, that army can go into there. We should get, yeah, over th over 1700 this time. Which will give us a nice little boost. They're still laying siege to that fort. Rune against Dorwinian. I don't know why. Grasgard, are you ready to go? Oh yeah, we've got two turns for Grasgard to finish as well. Yes, my lord. Is it safe for me to bring my general across this way? It is not. There is a small force there, so we will bring him this way instead. Okay. Let's retrain that axe unit there. And... I'm going to take this cav unit back to Winterion to retrain. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, lovely. So we can put some troops up there in case we need anything. Well, we got well, basically we've got a spare fort to get some free upkeep with if we need. There's no other forts on that province though, unfortunately. There's none on uh, Rune's borders to the south, so I have to that's the only one I can rely on to give us the free upkeep if we need it. So in fact I might put I might put a couple of units up there. Oh. Well that's a bit of an annoyance. Wait, what fleet is that next to mine over there on the left? Is that a Darwinian fleet? I think it is. Purple banner. 
Nazgul will return to Dogledore. Oh, look at that. Okay, so let's take... Hunters and one cav can go up there. Not the most expensive upkeep of units, but uh, enough to make some kind of impact on our economy there. Winterian, I'm going to retrain this longbow unit. We've got 600 left. Ships ready. Is it not obvious I am your fault? Yes, sir. Full save. Ah, uh, I'm going to recruit a new one. I'm not going to train a new one. Ships ready. Your will, my lord. By your one more turn for Grasgard to upgrade. How is Versagath doing? 1136. Uh, Dogledore, that is a rather concerning force you've got south you of Esgaroth. Yes, my lord. So I'm going to take the hit of my economy and bring those troops in here. Oh, the other two can get free upkeep. That's good. So I'm, I'm going to take the hit of the economy just so that I can make sure my provinces are protected. Don't like the fact that that army's there. I haven't got any towers down here, I've just realised. That's a bit of a silly thing for me to not do. Alright, 44 coin. I think we should be still making about a thousand a turn. Bella Dorminion, hello. What do you want? Oh, you're trying to bribe me just like the elves of Mirkwood. Somebody reported that, on, or in the comments, that they found the elves of, um, or the, the woodland elves plus the dwarves of Erebor tend to end up going to war with each other. Now, I've not experienced this before, so I can't really comment. If that's the case, we're going to be caught in the middle, and it's not going to be very good for us. It's going to sound a bit, well, it's going to be a little bit awkward. We're right in between, like, the two capitals of both of those factions. So I'm hoping that's not going to happen. Oh, Grasgard upgraded. Lovely. Back to 703. Yeah, taking those two generals out of free upkeep has uh, hit the economy a bit there. Yes, my lord. Uh, okay. My lord. Bring you across to there. Approaching quiet, my lord. Your order, You're my back lord. into there. My lord. Ships ready. Oh, look at that. Lightly defended. Lightly defended. So I can get swordsmen there now as well. So I'm going to take... Um, I don't want to use all of these heavy guys. I kind of want to use these for my attack on Elgar. But this would be a great place to hold. So I could use, I could leave some of my lighter units in the Burka as a garrison. I can put the heavier ones in the fort as a, as a free upkeep, reinforcing force, I guess. Um, hmm. I'll take an axe unit with me. I'll take the force across to there. My master despises you. Ships ready. Yes, sir. Full sails. Lovely. My lord. Yes. Bursagath. Not much further to go for you. You guys go in there. Lovely, lovely. Grasgard, get me a grain exchange. Might as well build that. I'm going to take you back up to normal tax right now. So that should help as well. Yes, my lord. The orcs don't seem to be interested in us for the moment, so I'm going to put these generals back into these forts. I don't know if the orcs are using our pathway as, um, as a cut. A cut, a cut, a cutting the corners, basically, of getting into the elves' lands. Makes me a little bit nervous. 
I wonder if perhaps I should block that off with a force, but then that would obviously cost money, and I really don't want to use up money unnecessarily here. I think it'd be more beneficial to just let them wander around and keep my settlements reinforced, because I can defend those nice and easily. Oh, Thranduil's halls are under attack. They've got quite a large garrison there, so should be fine. Corsairs decline. Thranduil's halls besieged, of course. Osgiliath lost. Ah, oh, I've got to blockade that port. Ha! <laughs> Whoops. So where are the Corsairs? Have the Corsairs completely gone? Or no, they're still there. I think they're just very, 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 very uh, small in size at the moment. Eleven fifty-eight. Right. I'm going to leave my Thalarain. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I'll leave two Athala Rangers behind. Right. Bigger ships take out that small fleet. Nicely done. We are victorious. Set sail. Ah, do we need a blockade in that port? We'll blockade that one. And this fleet can go ahead blockade that one. So combined with Dorwinian, we are blockading everything. That is a large force working its way north. Look at all of those clan units. Oh boy. We may have a problem. Thala Rangers. Let's get moving. Crit sword unit. We'll send that across to Rubar as well. Retrain him. Might as well get another axe while we're at it. Just basically reinforce everything. I'm going to leave those guys up in that fort. They're fine where they are. Burst of Gath, 1158. Oh yeah, already looked at that. <laughs> Razgard, one more turn for the Grain Exchange. Okay, Diplomat, what was I doing with you? I can't even remember. Have we spoken to the elves of uh, Imladris? We have, okay. Uh, vale of Andor well, we've basically spoken to everyone. Oh, the clans of Anadwaith, that's where I was going. Uh, where do I need to go? Let's go this way. Yes, stopping here. Failing to get anything at Esgroth and allowing Dorwinian to take over their diplomo diplomacy or diplomatic attempts there. The Woodland Realm have now pushed across to Grasgard. Interesting. Well, we should be able to get those reinforcements across to Rubar. Looks like that army's heading in that direction. So uh, we should be able to get our troops there. Looks like we may be having some forces sent up against our fort up there in the north as well. Ooh. Karasant besieged blockade the port of Mistrand. Already doing it. I think. Oh no. Maybe not. Ships ready. Looking at Leave me be. Blockade both of those. Your will, my lord. By your command. As you wish. Shall I maybe pull these guys down to Rubar instead? Pull them back. 
I will not waste words on you. Perhaps I should actually. Orders, my lord. Yes. We'll make camp here. I'm gonna lose quite a bit of money here, but oh well. In the meantime, we're gonna siege Naburka. Take out that fleet. Oh, it didn't quite destroy it. We are victorious. Need to hold on to those two ports for two turns. Grasgard. Free up keep. And then we can send a we can recruit units there. Without too much economic problems. I don't like this pike unit being in that fort by itself. Yes, my lord. It costs 340 upkeep to bring them out, though. Oh, dearie me. I'm going to try and take uh, Naburka without having to fight it. If I can keep all of my troops on that island, that'd be fantastic. Well done, elves. Well done. I would have been very surprised if they'd lost that battle, to be perfectly honest. Now that army's coming across. Is that going to get attacked by the... By Dolgul Door there? I don't know. Oh. One more turn and they are going to attack us at Rubar. My fort unit's going to get there in time. If not, I may have to send them somewhere else. I can at least get the cavalry back. Hmm. The vine regent of Darwinian is dead. Oh dear. Without question, as you wish. Tomorrow's journey. Darwinian, what are you doing? What is going on? My lord. Approaching. Okay, so you still have that territory. Lovely. Still have that. Oh, Rune is right there. Oh my god, you've been pushed back into this tiny little corner. Oh boy. Uh, oh dear. Alright. My forces are grouped. Can we train a couple of them? As soon as we beat these forces, we're going to push to Elgaia. We can't really delay much more. So which port? I'm guessing that's Mistran's one there. Ships ready. Mistran is nice and open. There's not really much there. Eastling capital is right there. Lest that's not a very big province. Really need to try and do something to help Darwinian here. Don't have enough money to build another ship. So once this port thing's done, I'll bring whichever ship I can up this way. I'm gonna pick up some more troops, bring them down. We get we've really got to push against Rune now. So once this little invasion of theirs is done, we'll do that. As expected. Looking at the banners, I think we may actually outnumber them, which is kind of funny. We must make a stand. We are besieged. Yeah, you can have that fort if you're going to go we for it. Yay! Lovely. We took we it without any problems. Won. No problems there. We'll move some troops into the fort. Trantor's Halls, 
besieged again. Norian under attack. Okay, so three hearth watchmen there. Lovely. Can't retrain any of them. Well, I should get free upkeep there, so I'm going to send... One free upkeep slot, so I'll put one of these guys over there. By your command, we can go no further today. Your will, my lord. As you wish. Might as well keep hold of whatever I can get. Okay, we are making negative 174. That's because we are, our town's under siege, so we're going to take this fleet this way. Attempt to go up there. What I might do is I might group up some troops that I have. Maybe even, maybe even take a general. I'm going to try and uh, help the Winion. We might go for one of these little castles here. Or that little castle there, sorry. Oh, this place can upgrade. Lovely. We'll do that now. You, your a lot of their units are damaged in this army, so it shouldn't be too difficult to beat that. Right, let's take... Okay, let's uh, recruit some more rangers then. Your orders. Without question. Yes, as you wish. Stopping Head over there to the clans of Enidwaith. continue tomorrow. So then it like Rune will attack us in this turn. With that army. Beat that and then head on to Elgaia. So while Rune is trying to defeat Orwinion, we are attacking their rear provinces. Ah, they lost as well. Apologies, guys. For some reason, the game decided it was going to crash during the turn flip. So we're going to try this again. Crash right as it finished. We got to the Rebels' turn. Which tends to be the case if it's ever going to crash during a turn flip. It's normally, uh, rough. it's normally around the Rebel point for me. Might be different for you guys, but for me, it's generally around the Rebels' point where it tends to crash. So, uh, we'll try this again. The elves survived at, uh, at Thranduil's Halls, and again, thankfully. Yes, okay. Ordered. Making 1187. Yes. Blockade the port of Lest. Leave me be. Ships ready. Destroy that. I don't think we took any losses there, which is good. Okay, that port Lest is improved in size. Once I capture you, your title will mean nothing. Right, if they don't attack me this turn, I'm gonna have to sally forth. I can't sit around all day. I wonder what I will cut from you first. How about nothing? That'd be quite nice. Ships ready. My lord, as you wish. Oh, what? Really? You can't get free upkeep with the swords? Okay, we'll put them over there for the moment then. Our 
Ah, now I need to save our money so I can upgrade Bursa Gath. It's actually upgraded this turn. It's actually at 12.06, so it's only just upgraded. Yes, my lord. Without question. Stopping here. How long do I have to do it for? Oh, can't look at the missions. Can't look at the missions during a turn flip, apparently. I can bring up the scroll, but I can't look at the missions. Unless I had to blockade the port for one turn and I've just completed the mission. That wouldn't make sense because it wouldn't tell me I've completed the mission if, uh, in case my fleet gets attacked during the turn, for example. Build an archer's guild. Uh, 900. Ah, fine. One more turn for the fleet there, blockading the port. One more turn for that town to upgrade. I don't have enough money to upgrade to Bursa Gath because of that range thing, the guild. Ah. One more turn for those two. And I'll bring this force along with these three. Down via fleet, by boat, down in this direction. We'll go and attack something. My lord. Approaching ah, okay, so Darwinian isn't stuck in this corner, it goes all the way across this way. That's not so bad. Approaching quietly. Approaching I'm going to bring my spy to look at Kadas Falathrim. Right. You guys haven't attacked me, so I'm going to have to attack you. Once I capture you, your title will mean nothing. You've built a lot of battering rams. Got quite a bit of cavalry, but uh, it's not too bad. Okay, let's try and break this siege. So I can't sit around all day. And even though they've built more battering rams, there's still no guarantee they're actually going to attack me in the next turn flip. I'm not sure why they would. They have a lot less men than I than my force, but the AI tends to do funny things. Units, await my orders. So we're going to put everything across here. Okay, swordsman, okay. So everything is here now. Oh, that army <laughs> just zoomed in. I'm going to let the enemy run away first. Oh, did I not move my... Oh, I did move my general. I was going to say, did I not move him? Okay, let's let the enemy run away first. And then... Bring all my archers out here. Infantry. Put my cavalry out on the left, I think.
So they may have gone all the way back up there. What we've got on the flank where my cavalry is, we've got some clansmen, some clan guard. All clansmen. On the right is where they're putting all their cavalry. So it's basically just clansmen taking up their center line with some crossbows. Oh, those are going to be annoying. How many of those have they got? Th two, arch two crossbows, one archer. Look at my fort axeman upgraded. A little chainmail arm. That's pretty cool. Rise up, men of Dale. Ready, men. Ready, men. We men of Dale will help you. Be ready, archers. Okay. What's that over there? More cavalry. So I'm going to pull up to this line here for the moment. We're going to take our time. The reason why I'm pulling up in front of these rather than past them is that if the enemy do suddenly charge down the hill, we can... Those will slow down their charge. And they're not going to move, so... range at all yet. Let's pull up to maybe about here. Still not in range. Although we're not far off. Not far off at all. So I think if I pull up to in line with this bush here. I think I should be in range from that point. haven't been moving my cavalry up, so I do need to kind of do that as well. My cavalry here have got some armor upgrade as well. <clears throat> okay, fire at will. Shoot these archers. Here we go. Oh, the general's coming down. Oh, he was. Let's get into position and open fire again. My Thala Rangers have got ridiculous range on them. So because we're in range again and firing at them, the 
They're bringing their units down again. See if we can take out some of the enemy general bodyguard. Pull back, archers. Move, 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 move. Nice, nice. Very nice. Get in there. Cavalry. Right, I need to shoot up these enemy missiles. These crossbows are going to wreck us if we don't do something here. Oh dear. This is not going quite according to plan right now. Their cavalry completely outclasses mine. <laughs> Well, this has gone terribly. Really did not do this very well, did I? Well, I've lost one cavalry unit. A rather experienced one as well, which is kind of annoying. Don't have enough cav to take out their their missiles though, which is really annoying. Left, it's really really annoying. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Yeah, we've not exactly lost that many of ours either. We've lost 30 odd per. What is it? 36 percent. Really hit me harder on the left hand side here. Still haven't killed the enemy general either. Right, let's take this infantry up this way. We're gonna push across into these crossbows. 
Well, our cavalry's got them pinned down. We're going to hit them with our infantry. I don't have a lot of anti-cav troops in this army. So that's going to have to change. How are they just running through my troops like that? That's just that's just ridiculous. <laughs> we men of Dale will help you. We've lost Come on. Our men. I know we've lost half our men. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. Whatever missiles I've got left, focus on this. Bulk here. why that unit's doing that by itself, but oh well. So all of those guys are retreating. Push on to the enemy general. Fifty-eight percent of my army. Jesus. Uh, perhaps I should have waited the turn or two then. <laughs> Maybe they would have attacked me. Done. Right, after the enemy general now, please. There's a few rangers. This is a terrible battle. I did not do this well at all. <sighs> I'm going to have to... Uh... Hmm. 
Hmm, I don't know what I'm going to have to do, to be honest. I'm going to have to rebuild this army somehow. With what? I don't know. Absolute mess. The enemy army flees the awed by the victory. Oh, my goodness, over a thousand casualties. Oh, dear. I really did not do that one very well at all. I don't have, I didn't have any anti cavalry stuff either. Really. I had one spear. I need more spears. <laughs> Oof. Our banner was so full at one point. Not so much anymore. My lord. Yes. Swap those two units round. Yeah, we need to go get Algaia. Can you not be under siege? Because I want to talk to you. But yeah, luckily you have a captain outside, so I'll talk to him instead. But inconveniencing me. How dare they? What did I get? Two Othello Rangers at my capital. Lovely. I'll bring them down as well. Wow, I'm making 2,600? Since when? <laughs> Order by your command. So the Burke is upgraded. Bursagath can upgrade. My cavalry unit survived, so that's all right. These fort archers are better than those hunters, apparently, so that's why I've swapped them round. Send you back there for retraining. I'll send one of these swords back for retraining as well. Spying on this road, we want to make sure that this area is watched as much as possible. Ships ready. 
Yes, sir. Full sail. So what I'll do is I'll take one of these generals with these Athena Rangers, Dale, Cavalry, Sword, Spears, Spear, my next recruited. I'm just going to take them all. I might pick up the units that are in this fort here and we'll use this army to attack somewhere. An attack, we're going to hit hard. <laughs> My lord, what is it you wish to discuss? You hold us at ransom until we meet again, as you wish. Yes. Just to send him back here. there. Not really any anyone else for him to talk to. So we'll jump into turn 54, see what goes on, and then we'll have to call it a day. Well, Rune's military certainly grown quite a lot, but they're moving all their troops in the eastern, dire eastern direction, which could mean we can use our elite force to attack Nabo um, Karas Vadathrim. At least we'll knock them down a step. Imladris is besieged. Take the settlement of Elgaia. I will not waste words on you. I will not waste words on you. Luckily, we have fifteen turns to do that in. My lord, by your command. Orders, as you wish. Even the sport, even the four spearmen are better. You get the few, you get twenty. What's that? Twenty-eight less men in the four spearmen. And they cost exactly the same. Just a little bit more expensive to recruit. Buy some of them. Your will, my lord. Ships ready. A fine day to sail, my lord. Yeah, it's not going to be a very popular. It's not going to be very popular with my income, but oh well. I need the I need the troops. But I'm going to get rid of those. Should I get rid of these hunters? Yeah, I'll get rid of those hunters. I really want them. Is it not obvious I am your foe? Ships ready. Set sail. Okay. Right then. Thanks for very thank you very much for watching guys. Um that's all I'm gonna do for this episode. Next episode it looks like Rune are sending more troops up towards us at Rubar. I don't really think I should fight one more of those siege types battles, uh, particularly breaking out, because I did that rather poorly and suffered a lot of casualties because of it. So if anything, I might try and get my army down to this bridge. Maybe we can uh, defend ourselves there, block off the enemy forces. 
Uh, but what I want to do, I want to group my army up a bit more before I head that way. And I need to get a garrison in this town as well. In fact, once I've retrained a couple of these troops, I might... Once I've retrained a few of these, I might just send everything to that bridge now. And take some of these extra troops across to defend Rubar. We'll see how that goes in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you then.